honey. <laughs> oh my God. This is, <laughs> this is not giving quality. <laughs> I did say I was going to hold myself accountable by sharing with y'all the perfumes that I've been wearing for the week or that I plan to wear for the week. So basically the perfume tray. Now I may add or I may take away from that, but the general gist is to share with y'all the perfumes that I decided to pull out of my collection to wear for the week. Now, this wig is not doing it for me, so I'm gonna flip the camera and I'm gonna talk behind the camera, okay? So let's get started. Just to give you guys context, I do post more frequently on Instagram and TikTok. So some of these fragrances I've already posted that I've worn, but I won't be discussing them today in this video. So please keep that in mind. First fragrance I wore was Luby Charm by Christian Louboutin. This fragrance was released in 2021. I believe there were three fragrances in this line. I have two out of the three, Luby Charm and Luby Prince. Luby Charm is not a fragrance you see talked about much on social media, primarily because it's not as popular based on the accords. The note is more spicy. It's much more, I would say, incense -y, deep, patchouli. It's a little heavier and a little denser. So it is not a fragrance that I see a lot of women perhaps speaking on when it comes to favorite or top 10 lists. Luby Charm opens up with incense. You have rose and geranium in the middle, and then you have patchouli in the base. You don't see woods, you don't see caramel, you don't see vanilla, so that's a little scary. But once it dries down, it was amicable enough to layer with Oriana from Parfums de Mali. Oriana by Parfums de Mali is a great juxtaposition, to be honest with you, with Christian Louboutin's Luby Charm, primarily because it's fruity, it's girly, it's playful, it's a white floral, it's got powderiness, citrus elements, it's sweet, it's musky. So it's basically like playing serious with the sweet and charming. <laughs> In fact, I've been seeing a lot more talk about Oriana being featured on other people's top 10 lists. And although that's really nice, I wanted a little bit more complexity to my mixture. Hence the reason I layered uh, Luby Charm by Christian Louboutin with Oriana. Oriana by Parfum Somali opens up with a burst of energy from citrus notes. You've got grapefruit, you've got bergamot, and you've got mandarin orange. Then you've got the fruits in the middle with the blackcurrant and the raspberry and the orange blossom floral. And then in the base, you've got more edible arrangements with marshmallow, whipped cream, and then you've got the musky vibe of musk and musk mallow. So it's a beautiful fragrance to layer with the complexity of uh, Luby Charm from Christian Louboutin. If you have Oriana by Parfum Somali and Luby Charm by Christian Louboutin, layer these two together and let me know. Perhaps spray one on one arm, one on the other arm, wear it for a couple of hours and give me some feedback what you think about this composition that I created. So let me know down in the comments, okay? The next fragrance I pulled out was Mongolon Floral. This fragrance, I was not anticipating wearing it. I had it on the dresser, but I wasn't really sure if I was going to wear it because it's such an easy fragrance for me to love. In fact, I just recently did a video. It's uh, the most comforting fragrances that I had worn recently, most comforting fragrances in my collection. And this was one. Mongolon does that for me all the way. I love this fragrance. I love the lavender effects of it. I love the sweetness that it gives. It's not too sweet where it's cloying. I also love the fact that it lasts really long on my skin. I get really good projection and longevity with Montgolon Floral. This is a lavender powdery like fragrance with a very aromatic vibe. It has iris in it. It also has beautiful peony and floral notes and a tad bit of peach. Now, it's not as complex as it seems when you're smelling it on the skin. It comes across quite simple smelling to some people. Some people don't like lavender. I oh, know. Come on. I don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> but I do. And I found that wearing Mongolon Floral, I literally just reached for it, sprayed it, and I am transported. I just am. Love this fragrance. Let me know if you like Mongolon, if it's in your fragrance collection, what you like about it, and also, if, you, if it doesn't work for you, let me know down in the comments, okay? The next fragrance I pulled out was another Lavender Lover's Dream. And this is Libre, 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 Libre means book in Spanish. <laughs> Libre by a YSL. This is the intense version. It opens up with lavender, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. These are notes that I love, guys. You noticed that, right? 
I need me a lot of comforting. Yes, I do. Anyways, in the middle, you've got more lavender. Then you've got Tunisian orange, jasmine, and orchid in the middle. And then in the base, it's closed out with tonka bean, Madagascar vanilla, ambergris, and vetiver. I have featured Libran Tense several times in several videos because I really do love this fragrance. I love the way it works on my skin. And it's a great fragrance, an everyday fragrance to have in your collection. I don't know what's going on in the community, but nobody's talking about the best tuberose fragrance. This is Mont Bloom by Ramon Monegal. Now y'all see me showing it, featuring it, but nobody's talking about it. I'm ready to fight for Mont Bloom. You hear me? Catch you outside. How about that? Catch you outside? What does that mean? <laughs> what I just said. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am not fighting for nobody, especially since Ramon Monegal ain't not putting a penny in my pocket, okay? So no, that's not happening. But I do love Mon Bloom. Mon Bloom is an animalic, ambery, oody tuberose. And this is different from other tuberoses because it has that animalic effect. It has a warmness to it. It has tuberose, agarwood, labdanum, neroli, and jasmine. It's not a fragrance I find that's offensive. It lasts very long on the skin as well. The sweetness is not screechy at all. I find it quite easy to wear, and in my opinion, one of the best, and I mean it, one of the best tuberoses in my collection. This is Mon Bloom by Ramon Monegal. Next up, it was L by Shelter in Perfume. Now, I wore this this week. I also wore it last week because I wanted to know whether I wanted to pull it, you know, keep it in my collection. I've been going back and forth, but I decided I do. I'm already going through half the bottle anyways. This is Raspberry, Plum, Peach, Pear, Golden Lily, Dry Wood, Balsam Fur, White Musk, and Vanilla. The reason I am showing you the picture of this fragrance is because the bottle that I have is an older presentation. So this is what you'd get if you purchase L by Shelter and Perfume. Please let me know in the comments if you've tried it. If you're enjoying my content, please check out my channel page where you'll find tons of videos for your viewing pleasure. My latest release was Most Comforting Fragrances and I also have the Weekly Perfume Picks, which is what I'm filming right now. There's another video I did previously, so head on over to my page after this video and check that one out. And of course, let me know in the comments what you think about them, okay? My next fragrance is Rose Rouge by Van Cleef & Arpel. This is a beautiful fragrance on the skin. It's a nice balanced rose cocoa fragrance. You've got opening of black currant, bergamot, and pink pepper. Then you've got vetiver, the rose, and raspberry in the middle. More vetiver in the base with some patchouli, a little bit of musk mixed in there, cacao, and vanilla. Absolutely gorgeous on the skin. Great longevity, great sillage, doesn't project too heavily. The next fragrance I wore was Gris Chanel by BDK. This is a warm, spicy, aromatic fragrance. It's a bit fruity. It's a bit uh, powdery as well. I really like it, and I think it's a great fragrance to say this is unisex. In my opinion, it is. The greenness, the woodiness, the aromatic vibes, it gives a unisex vibe to me. Now, Gris Chanel, in my opinion, happens to be a fragrance that easily easily worn by both men and women and at any time of the day, night, or any time of the season, you know, any season. The fig notes, the cardamom, the spiciness, the smoothness of the, you know, bourbon uh, vetiver, as well as the sandalwood, absolutely enjoy wearing this. Let me know if you have this in your collection. I am eager to know, are y'all giving me the boombastic side eye or are y'all picking up what I'm putting down? No. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, well, I'm going to put down Benevolence. That's what I'm going to do. Benevolence is my next fragrance. I was having a particularly bad day and I picked this to wear. This is a beautiful almond fragrance opening up with bergamot, star anise, and then you've got orange blossom, jasmine, and lavender. And in the base, you've got Madagascar vanilla, sugar, and musk. There has been comparisons to Love by Killian, and I do get the smell comparisons that how that can be made but in terms of the notes there are some differences but i still prefer my benevolence i love the way this smells i love the way it lingers on the skin i absolutely love the sillage the projection you hear me use the word love with this fragrance it's because i absolutely love benevolence yes i know some people gonna come for me talking about oh you just a house of sillage lover yeah 
I am. But this fragrance, it tips the cake for me. My favorite. If this is your first time here, my name is Pam and I talk about all things common sense and luxury with a concentration in fragrance. If you found value in today's video, please head over to my channel where you'll find a variety, a ton of videos for you to binge watch, okay? Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe to today's video as well as those videos when you head over to my channel. Also, share my videos with your friends and your family so they can see all the fun we're having over here in this YouTube atmosphere. Until the next time, take care of yourself and each other, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!